Okay, the word for today is shame. I finally had the chance to get my very first solo flight in. Pretty exciting. The weather was only 34 degrees, but at least it wasn't 10 degrees like it had been for a couple weeks. So I picked up Shane at 6 a.m. for a three-hour drive to the airport. I hadn't practiced for about three weeks, but my instructor hooked me up anyway and sent me off. And as you can see, it was not very pretty. And that's just the first two launches. Maybe someday I'll get up enough courage to let you see the landings. <laughs> so there I am, flat on my face. For a guy who hates failure, in front of all my new friends, my instructor, and despite that shame, it made it to the internet. So I understand the word for embarrassment comes from the idea of bare ass. Well, that about sums up the way I felt. I felt shame. Like, could I ever be part of this group? So, shame. Where in the Bible does it talk about shame? Well, there's a story about some goody two-shoes, some religious people that are eating with Jesus at their house, and they're still checking him out because they don't really quite believe that Jesus is who he said he is, a prophet or the Son of God. And so while they're still checking him out, this prostitute sneaks in and starts washing Jesus' feet with her long hair and with her tears from her eyes. And the goody two-shoes religious people say, you know, if this guy, Jesus, was who he said he was, he would know, he would know who is washing his feet with her hair and her tears. He would know that she's the town harlot. So that's about as shameful as you can get. She sells her body. But here's why I love Jesus which most people really don't understand. You don't clean yourself up to come to this man. It's those people who admit their shame, who admit that they're a mess. People that don't pretend to have it all together that Jesus was all about. He said that he was a friend of sinners, but the religious people just couldn't quite understand that. So Jesus knows what these guys are thinking. He says to them, hey guys, I have a story for you. Let me tell you a story. Suppose a guy forgives another guy $5,000 and he forgives another guy 50 cents. Which guy do you guys think would love the guy who forgave them the most? Who would love him the most? And they said, well, I suppose that's pretty easy. The guy that he forgave $5,000 would love him more than the guy he forgave 50 cents. He goes, you have spoken correctly. And so it is with this woman. Ever since I came to your house, you didn't even give me water, let alone wash my feet. You didn't even offer me water to wash my own feet. And yet since the time I came in here, she has not stopped washing my feet with her tears. And she has not stopped kissing my feet since I walked in. And you guys didn't even say hi to me. So she was forgiven, Jesus says, many, many sins. And so she loves more as well. He who has sinned little loves little. So if you're ever thinking of following Jesus, you don't clean yourself up first like so many people think. You come to him just as you are, pretending about nothing. And so falling on my face, taking off, was very, very shameful too. But it is what it is, right? It is what it is. There's no hiding what we really are. And not every power paraglider launch is perfect like it looks like online. It's kind of difficult. That's just the way it is. But it is what it is. And there's no pretending that I am what I'm not. Shame. Conquer it.